At the dawn of the 21st century, space agencies in Europe and America began making plans to land the first humans on Mars. But manned missions to the Red Planet have been proposed before. For some, Mars holds the answers to mankind's future in space. Others say Mars is too far, too dangerous, and too expensive for humans to explore. More than 30 years after the last Apollo astronaut walked on the moon, the American manned space program seems to have lost its way, unable to reach beyond even low Earth orbit. With the tragic loss of the crew aboard the Space Shuttle Columbia, the debate has begun. We've got a problem. NASA has been literally going around in circles with its space program for the past 30 years. Astronautical engineer Dr. Robert Zubrin has been arguing for years that sending humans to Mars is the mission the space program needs. It's time that we set goals for NASA that were worthy of the risks of human spaceflight. Mars is the next logical step in our space program. It's the challenge that's been staring us in the face for the past 30 years. It's the planet that's most likely Earth. It's the planet that has on it the resources needed to support life and therefore someday technological civilization. It's the planet that will provide us with the answer as to whether life is prevalent in the universe or exclusive to the Earth. And it's the planet that will give us the critical test as to whether humanity can break out of the planet of our birth and become a spacefaring species. In the early 1990s, Zubrin was the head of the Mars Direct program at Martin Marietta Astronautics. His team developed a mission to Mars that could be done at a fraction of NASA's projected costs. Using only existing technology, Zubrin argues that the first steps on Martian soil could be made within 10 years. There is absolutely nothing in this that is beyond our technology. We are not ready to send humans to Mars right now. We don't know how to keep them alive. There are people out there who say we can go to Mars tomorrow. Uh, one of my requirements, one of NASA's requirements, is that if we send humans to Mars, we bring them back alive.